Welcome back to the Red Carpet Reup, your go-to channel for the latest in music industry news and drama. Today, we're diving into some intense speculation and breaking news surrounding the YSL RICO trial, Young Thug, and a tragic incident that has the internet buzzing. First, let's talk about the tragic event that occurred early Sunday morning, June 30th, in Southwest Atlanta. Reports indicate that an alleged murder took place at an apartment complex on Peyton Place off Martin Luther King Jr. Drive. The victim is rumored to be an associate of YSL Woody, known as Tay. However, it's important to note that these claims are currently unconfirmed and the police have not identified the victim or made any arrests yet. Now, the reason this incident is causing such a stir is due to YSL Woody's involvement as a witness in the ongoing Young Thug and YSL RICO trial. Some people are speculating that there's a connection between the alleged murder and Woody's role in the trial. Woody's participation has already been a hot topic, with debates about whether he would testify and discussions about why Young Thug might not have paid for his legal fees. Adding to the drama, Young Thug recently tweeted, whatever wham say goes, referring to Lil Baby, who has been vocal about his disdain for Gunna, another YSL member accused of snitching. This tweet has led many to wonder if there's more behind it, possibly hinting at internal conflicts within YSL. Furthermore, there are rumors that Thug's brother, Unfunk, might reveal crucial information soon, which has fans on edge. Let's take a closer look at these events. For instance, the alleged shooting happened at this location. Deadly shooting in southwest Atlanta happened early this morning at an apartment complex. Channel 2's Brian Mims is live on Peyton Place. Brian, police say the shot was fired from outside of the apartment. Exactly, and police say they don't have many details about what led up to the shooting, but there is a big police presence here at Peyton Place, just off Martin Luther King Jr. Drive. You can see the officers still on the scene after more than three hours. The call came around three this morning, and when officers showed up at an apartment at 9 Peyton Place, they found a man in his early 20s who had been shot to death. It's unclear if anybody else was inside that apartment, but Police say there were no other injuries. As you can see, the situation is complex and filled with speculation. While the internet is buzzing with theories, it's crucial to remember that many of these details remain unconfirmed. We'll keep you updated as more information becomes available. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe to The Red Carpet Reup for all the latest updates on this developing story and other exclusive content. Thanks for watching and see you next time.